YouTube, this is Puck. How are you doing? Today um, we are uh, very uh, busy with uh, Windows 8 and um, we made some videos showing you that old computers, uh, old Pentium 4s and even the Celeron processor of uh, the Travelmate um, could run the consumer version of Windows 8. And um, <clears throat> I also told you in the videos that uh, there was no way to install uh, the final build 9200 on one of these two laptops standing here in front of me because they are too old and when you boot up with uh, the USB stick or with a DVD then you will get uh, a warning telling you this computer is not uh, is not good enough to run Windows 8 or it will say you must repair your computer please reboot and there will be no way for you to install Windows 8 9200 on these Pacific uh, machines Pentium 4 and even Celeron with 1400 megahertz now I must say that installing um, Windows 8 on a system that only has a 1400 Celeron processor and 512 megabyte RAM even if it could go good I can tell you out of experience you will get really pissed off it will be like a, a, a old 486 uh, uh, how you call it a computer one that should run uh, Windows 95 and you try to run Windows 2000 on it remember these times all you old schoolers remember that we tried it long time ago with our Pentium 1 we tried to install uh, XP on it and it was really really slow with that 32 megabyte or maybe 64 megabyte that we had in that machine so it's almost the same you know installing Windows 8 could be possible on one of these machines but then again you know it will not be that is fastest because it's not that is fastest uh, on, on RC or on the um, public release what was it the consumer preview anyhow so it wasn't that is fastest on there so it will never ever be that is fastest on 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 this uh, how you call it uh, on this on this original full version of Windows 8 but then again we can always lighten up the system by uninstalling apps that are connected to the internet and you know I will tell you a secret last night I did it, I installed it on the travel mate um, and I succeeded and I was like I must make a movie to show you guys how to install Windows 8 9200 on computers or laptops um, that um, have a processor that is not supported alright so that's what we're gonna do today we're gonna use this Dell um, to do this project you must have uh, installed on your computer a version of Windows 7 or maybe uh, a beta version of Windows 8 that must be on the laptop if you want to do this thing that I'm gonna show you right now alright so what we're gonna do we're gonna install Windows 8 on a laptop that is not supported to run Windows 8 okay welcome back this is the laptop I'm talking about yeah it's uh, it's the what you call it the Dell the 5150 let me put her on it's running um, the Windows consumer preview Windows 8 with a fish you see that so what we're gonna do we're gonna install um, the 9200 on this baby and I should have shown you this wait I'm gonna I'm gonna kill kill the kill the baby maybe I shouldn't have done this but we just did and now I'm gonna type of press F12 and then it will say one time boot yeah and I have the stick I have the stick in here the Windows 8 stick let me see if it's gonna boot uh, boot oh uh, contains errors bloody bloody blah, 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 blah. F12 preparing one time boot 
USB storage device you see we get errors it's not possible to uh, to 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 install uh, windows on this thing so we just gonna let it boot from the CD it's not possible to win to, to, to boot up from the Windows 8 uh, 9200 DVD so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna boot up this baby then we're gonna go to the step how to install uh, the 9200 uh, on this baby I must show you that I have here I have here a stick yeah with the install files I created a bootable um, a bootable disk of Windows 8 the 9200 and I'm gonna stick her just in here at the back if I can yes I did it okay applying update blah -de blah I don't know what kind of update it's applying but it's all good to me whoa Saturday the 13th that's a bad day yo but a good day to show you how to install Windows 8 9200 on a computer that is not supported. This processor of this laptop is not supported. You cannot install Windows 8 build 9200 the normal way on it. You cannot run the setup uh, uh, from out Windows uh, because we're going to do that and you're going to see why. As you can see, we're booting straight up to the classic, <laughs> the classic team. I installed the classic team on uh, on this 8250. I'm gonna zoom in for you, so you don't see. I'm I'm not tricking you guys. It should be silly to make a video to trick people. I only do that with UFOs, my UFO videos that I create from FX Guru. That's my friend. Yep, yep. Anyway, you're looking at the classic team, my lovely people. Yes, yes. And uh, this is Windows 8 consumer version uh, 80, 8250. Let me show you the properties real snap, uh, real fast. <laughs> real snap. <laughs> uh, I'm speaking two languages. Uh, flex, flex, flexes, laughing his ass out there. Flex, <laughs> flex, wax. <laughs> Okay, here you can see these are the specifications, no big deal, uh, 768 megabyte RAM, uh, Pentium 4, 3.6 megahertz, no big deal. This processor is not supported to run Windows 8. And I'm going to show you why. If we go to my computer, then we go to the USB disk, the one that we uh, have the Windows 8 files on. There it is, you see it here? And then if we hit the setup, for instance, yeah then look what will happen we're just gonna run the setup and then preparing bloody bloody So what we're doing, we're doing an install from out Windows, whatever. We say no thanks. Of course you must hit, I want to make, I want to help Microsoft and make things better. This PC can't run Windows 8. <laughs> you see that lovely people? You see that? This PC cannot run Windows 8 because it's a stupid PC. You know, that's why it cannot run Windows 8. So now I'm going to show you how we can still run the same Windows 8. Are you sure we want to quit? Yes, we want to quit. Now we go to the folder of the files. Yeah. And you must go to sources. Into sources. Wait, let me zoom in. The people cannot see, but this is not HD. This is cheap cam. So you must zoom for the people so they can see. Okay, you hit sources, people. And then you go to the S of set up. Yeah, just go all the way down here. And then you see 
Here you see. Um, let me let me let me select it. I don't know if you can see it, lovely people. But here in sources, you also see setup. This is a very special setup because this setup, it will not look if this PC is good or not good. So we just hit yes. Uh, up here you can see uh, the setup is starting. This is the same CD, the same everything. You see? Bloody boom. So setup is starting. Yeah, we say no thanks. And now we can insert a key. Yeah, so now I will take my box and I will insert the key. I'll be right back. At the next step, as you can see, we get here at the I accept license agreement. And then we can say upgrade, install, keep all files. And this you can also do if you are on Windows 7 and you're installing the original version or the full version. I will say custom install only uh, only Windows. Uh, I can I can say the file settings and applications aren't moved to Windows in this option. If you want to make changes to the partition, blah de, blah de, blah. Upgrade, install Windows and keep file settings and applications. The files, settings and applications will move to the Windows with this option. This option is only available available when a supported version of Windows is already running on this computer. We just say custom install. It's all good. And uh, up here we can just uh, select. Uh, yeah, but then we have a problem. I will not be able to install this, and I'm not going to install this because I only have a drive of 10 gigabytes in this machine. I have one gigabyte free, so I'm not going to do this. But you can try it if you have a, a laptop that is not supported, and you know you want to install uh, the 9200. I don't want to install it. I, I'm just going to keep uh, my classic uh, screen with. Uh, uh, running uh, yeah the, the 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 consumer version until I'm gonna delete it and then install <laughs> the original version of Windows XP back on this thing.